Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install your P PS3 controller drivers and how to get your PS3 controller working on your computer. And obviously you need a PS3 controller and a little USB cord that hooks up to it. And I will show you each step and hopefully this will work for you. This is also only for Windows 7 people, so if you have a Mac or something like that, this will not work. Anyways, what you do is follow the link in the info and it's this is the 6-axis PC driver and uh, all you want to do is save the file or run the file whatever you want uh, I prefer to save it so I always have it for later and when you're done with that all you do is you open it up and you're gonna have these like four files right here and you have to run one of them and it's this Libus B Win32 filter and you, all you do is run this one really fast um, just accept everything and when you're done with that, basically it's going to make sure your controller could work on your PC. And uh, so it might take a few seconds, especially if your computer's a little bit slower. Mine's usually a little bit faster, so um, hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys. If you are, obviously just pause the video. And um, you don't have to run the test application. It's pretty much nothing, but I'll show you what it is anyways. It's just this. You don't even need it. Anyways, uh, the next thing you want to do is get your controller ready. And what I like to do is I like to move these files around a little bit and put them in a spot where I can easily use them. And this is your main file right here, this ps 36 axis um, underscore en dot exe. And that's what you're going to have to use every single time you want to use your PS3 controller on your computer. And all you got to do is, well, I'm going to move them really fast. I'm going to just put them on my desktop. Uh, just because I think it's a lot easier when I move them to my desktop and what you want to do is you want to make sure you move both of these to your desktop you can make a little folder uh, if you want on your desktop so it doesn't you know keep a make everything really really crowded or anything but uh, all you gotta do it's really really simple all you do is plug your controller into the computer run this ps3 6 axisen and all it's going to do is pop up that little black thing really really fast depending on how fast your computer is if it's really slow uh... that's it anyways you should have your you should have your controller plugged in right now and all you're going to do is press the ps3 button in the middle to turn it on and that should turn it on oh, you don't even need to do anything you probably won't even see lights flashing or anything and then after that uh... you could just check to see if it's working on your computer. I'm anxious, I could use an emulator if I want, but I'll show you guys how to do it through the computer if just in case you don't have any emulators or games for that matter. Anyways, you go to devices and printers, um, and then your PS3 controller should be on here already. Even if you didn't have the drivers, you'd still see it on there. And uh, uh, what you want to do is right click it, go to game controller settings and you're going to hit this right here, your PS3 controller, you can either hit properties or the controller and this is what you have right here, this is just saying which buttons are working and if you notice all these little the little joysticks are working for me, I'm using the joysticks right now and I'm using the uh, all the rest of the buttons and all of them should work um, just so you guys know and that's the way to check it for you, just your computer and then if you have an emulator or something like that uh, you might want to check it just to make sure it works on there and I am going to use ZSNES because that is my favorite emulator. It's a Super Nintendo emulator. And uh, if you guys don't know what emulators are, you should definitely check them out. They're super duper fun. I'll show you at the end of the video just in case you were interested. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I know this might be a little bit small. Uh, let's actually just make this a little bit bigger for you guys. Alright. So we got this a little bit bigger, it might be a little bit easier for you guys to see. And all you do is, I mean if you have an emulator, you just go to some sort of input or devices and you make sure you set your keys on like a game pad. And uh, if you see mine works, I'm setting all my keys. Um, start, select A and B, I mean this is Super Nintendo obviously, L and R. And now I have my controller set on my emulator, I can play no problem. And one thing that a lot of people don't understand is let's say you turn off your computer or you unplug your controller or something like that when you need to do it again all you do is you use these two right here um, if you make a little folder um, for PS3 or controller and you can just put them in here or whatever 
if you don't want a clustered desktop and all you have to do is run this again make sure you run that again you have the little black box pop up and then you press the middle ps3 button again you don't have to go throughout the whole process and do all that you just need the ps3 underscore en with the dll right next to it or in the same file location and uh, that's pretty much it for your controller i think that'll help you guys out um, if you're interested there's also some xbox controller ones and stuff like that but i do not know how to do that um, i assume it's just about as easy but i, ha I don't have Xbox controllers. So um, I'm just going to show you Cool Realms really, really fast, which is a really nice site. It's, I assume, I think it's legal technically, but that's up to you guys to decide. Anyways, um, Cool Realms. This is a really cool site, and all you do is there's like emulators for a bunch of old systems up to like PlayStation 2. Um, there's definitely Game Boy Advance, and there's some other ones. There's Nintendo 64. There's a bunch of these, and you could check them out, and they have all pretty much pretty much all the games for every single system so anything you want you could download if you guys want me to make a video showing you how to install an emulator and find the games and all that I can do that for you uh, just let me know I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and have a fantastic day